Stanley, come on, we're gonna paint the door. Kitty, kitty, don't run away from home, kitty, kitty. Stanley Cat. Hey guys, how are ya? It's Sonya with Junk Monkey Paint Company. Apparently Stanley Cat didn't wanna stay around and paint with me tonight, but hopefully you guys will. So I've got a project, if you can see behind me, this is the back door to my house that we use regularly, and I am tired of looking at that plum, burgundy, worn, faded in the sunshine color that is on it. I'm also kind of tired of looking at the brownie frowny worn garage door. I want to do both of these to match and I got ideas this past week. If you followed me here in the vlog, you saw that I painted a blue countertop from the 1970s and gave it a dark wood look. Well, I started thinking to myself, and you might remember in that vlog where I'm like, hmm, I'm getting ideas for uh, where I could put this look elsewhere. So today, settle in, we are going to paint this door and do it in a dark wood look. Really easy, it's a little bit later in the evening right now, it's after supper, that's okay, I got plenty of time. For the steps that we're about to do, and if you're using Junk Monkey, it makes it pretty darn easy. So let's do a quick flip. I've got company coming tomorrow. I wanna get this done, and I've got a new decor piece, a monogram, a pumpkin monogram that I picked up at Kirkland's that I wanna share with you guys. And uh, we'll see how it looks. If not, we'll figure out what will look good on the door. But at the end of the day, we got to get this done before we run out of daylight. It's a beautiful day here right now, by the way. You might hear the football players in the field behind the house here, hear the whistle, they're out, they're out doing their thing. So I've got some company, I've got you guys and I've got them. We'll see if they put on any rock and music later. They tend to do that from time to time. By the way, what do you think of my little palette recycle repurpose right here? Do you guys like that? Pretty darn cool, right? Just an old palette, a little bit of junk monkey paint and did that little kind of corner. But now this, this garage door needs some help. This door needs some help. I'll show you up close what it looks like real quick and we will go from there. Let's let Lee knock out the door tonight. This is our lovely plain, plain, plain door. Oh my gosh. And you can see it's just, you know what I'm saying? It needs some love. It needs some love. Before we moved into this big new old home that we have, it sat vacant for a while, so it just needs some love, you know? Somebody, the new owners, to come and give it some TLC. So I'm excited to have all these projects and just kind of bring it back to life, you know? Let's go ahead and give this door some new life. And look, it's even got a nail on it up there or a screw on it, so I think it's just ready for something. So I'm gonna put a base color on it of candy bar brown. And this is our chalky style paint, sticks to pretty much anything under the sun, wood, fake wood, a metal door like I'm about to paint, um, glass, all sorts of things. I think you'll be hard pressed to find anything that this stuff does not stick to, which, what, which is why it's super easy to be able to make this transformation happen so quick. And I should note that this door has been painted before. You can see the layers that's been on it and it's pretty hungry thirsty. If this was a super glossy door, the only difference is before I pick up my paint, all I would do is just buff it with a sand pad to try to basically dull out and put tiny little scratches all over it so that way the paint will be even more durable. In this case, this door is just like, please give me a tall glass of water, do something with me, help me. For this first layer, I'm gonna be going for all over coverage, so I am going to grab my Wooster Shortcut brush for all the supplies that I use here in my vlog, if you head over to junkmonkeypaint.com, you'll find these too. Friends, I want, because I want the uh, wood look, I want to brush this on because I do want some brush marks, okay? Because that's gonna make it look like a little bit more grainy. It's gonna make it look wood grain, which is what I'm going for. You could roll this on if you want, but like I say, because I am going for a wood look, I want it to have texture and make it look interesting, okay? Already that little bit of candy bar brown, maybe we'll just stop there. It looks pretty darn cool, right? Just really freshens it up.
are rocking and rolling, getting it done. What do you think, Matt? You ready for this to be changed? You ready for something different? Sure, even though I haven't known it that long. <laughs> oh, are you saying that you like the color that it was? I didn't say that. I'm just saying that oh, I, no. I'm I never sure. really paid attention to the door, to be really? honest with you. Really? But yeah. now you are, right? It's pretty darn cool. You this are? is another reason why I like these brushes. Real quick side note is because you see, guys, I'm not even using any um, painter's tape. I'm going to open this door in just a second. But just to kind of let you know, this brush here is it's just cut in at such an angle to be able to do this. Our front door Pretty always, darn cool, right? Our front door always commanded all the attention, so. Yeah, big Harry Potter style one. Mm -hmm. I love that door. That's on a blog here as well. You'll see me monkey shine up that door. So, mm -hmm. all right, we're gonna continue with this, and I will see you when this part is done. Woohoo! And we are done. Look, guys, it's all painted. It's just gonna dry right now. We're gonna get this done. We are gonna get this done before we lose light this evening okay quick and easy the way i like it so let's let this dry i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for my very next step and by the time i come back to be honest with you this stuff dries so quickly typically in about a half an hour or so and out here it's just like the perfect sort of temperature all right guys so i ran inside real quick and what i did was just wash my paintbrush this stuff cleans up so easy um, just with you know honestly a little bit of warm water and some soap and you're good to go. So I, I got that brush ready for my next project. I'm gonna go ahead and grab now my Poly Shades Min Wax product. And if you've been following my vlog, you've seen that this is the product that I've been using on my floors. Uh, this is the countertop. Um, this is the product I use on my countertop to get that really old wood look right there. Speaking of carpet, Matt's still working with all the carpet remnants. Clock all those steps, Matt. <laughs> It's a win-win. So the color I'm using is called Mission Oak, and I've been experimenting with this color over different um, Junk Monkey Chalky style paint colors, just to kind of see like what looks it gives me. And I really like like it over the candy bar brown. It gives me this really cool old dark wood look, right? So let's go ahead and pour some out and just into a little tray that I have here. I'm gonna go and grab a chip brush. I'm gonna go see if I have one of my wider ones, my four inch ones for this door because that way I can get it done twice as fast because it's double the size of this one and we can get this door knocked out before we lose daylight and I'm looking over there right now and honestly it's almost dry it's almost there got my Chevy chip brush ready this is a hard natural bristle brush and again the reason why I'm brushing this on is because I want to make it look like wood and obviously wood has grain into it so I'm not trying to make this door look smooth I want it to look like it actually has some wood veins into it you know what I'm saying so this is gonna do the trick along with my dark stain and poly all in one by the way while we're waiting for I feel like I have to stand on my tippy toes in order to get the top of the door and me to be able to be in the same frame here so I'm getting my workout tonight seriously I remember doing aerobics and you would have to do these things what are they called where you stand like on your feet and it works the back of your calves right the back of your calves it just works your calves your calves are in the back, right? So when I was at Kirkland's today, I gotta show you two things that I found. I mentioned it earlier. So while we're waiting for that door to finish drying, let me show you. So these are currently on sale right now. I was there today. So if you run, you can get one too, hopefully in your initial or your monogram. I thought this was super cute. It's just a um, plaid style monogram, wooden cutout with a little bit of polish, bling bling. Do you see how I say fallish and not Halloweenish? okay? Because I'm a girl who likes to decorate and it be able to stay up for a long time, right? So it's timely, it's in season for a while. So we'll, we should be good here for a bit with this, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hang this up. I'm not sure which door or if that palette we're gonna put it on. Like I said, I think the wreath is gonna go on my door. Then I'm gonna need something for the palette. This could be the thing. This could be my ticket. It is on the back, it says the price is $10.99, but I actually got it on sale today. I think it's like 25% off. It's like $8 and change, whatever that is. So I thought that was super cute right there. And the next thing I got, which this is like the holy grail. This is like the holy grail fall decor. <gasps> Take it out of the bag. Do you guys see what it is? It's a giant pumpkin. Do you like this, Matt? Isn't this cool? Cool, I was shopping today while you were getting tires on the car. 
How cool is this? Do you like that one? I think that could be really cool. What do you think, Mr. Decorator? Maybe put that one on the palette, put the wreath on the door? Sure. I think that'd be really cool, right? M is for Matt and Miller. It works, right? Super matte. So love this, and this says the original price was $29.99, but you know me, I am a girl that likes to buy things on sale. So they are currently on sale. Uh, I think I paid somewhere around $22 for it. So I thought this was a really cool splurge. I love it. It's really heavy, it's, but it's really big, and it's a nice statement piece, right? All right, stay tuned, because let, let's get this door finished, and then we can take a look and see what's gonna look good wear. Okay, we've still got a few little wet spots, but it's almost done. I know how our paint behaves, so we're going to be good to go for the next step, but just make sure that you let your paint coat dry, okay? So I've got my two shabby chip brushes. I've also got this small one right here as well, because some parts are just going to call for a smaller brush, which is why I tend to go with a two-inch brush, right? It's just more universal. But I thought for tonight to speed things up, you know what, for all these wide parts, let's just go ahead and use this dark, or I'm sorry, let's just use this four inch. I was just thinking to myself, oh, this dark yummy stain. Oh, it's pretty. Now what you're gonna wanna do is really pay attention to your brush strokes, okay? Because that's gonna be important if you want wood grain, all right? You wanna be able to like not have your wood grain look all non -woody weird, grainy. non woody grainy. You got it, you got it. And just do your best to match it up. Whatever you do, just stay uniform, okay? So meaning that this piece goes down, so this part goes down right here. It's like vertical, it matches, right? This part goes across, so right here I go across. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is just keep following it like pieces of a puzzle and do it completely uniform. Now this stuff has poly into it, which is a very nice thing, right? Because I won't have to seal this piece. I'm sealing it and giving it this really cool look all in one. Which is no, you're dance, not. Right? I am you are not. Listen, are you learning something? No. You are. Tell the truth. I will never admit it. I know you won't. All right. I love it. You know what, babe? Isn't it wonderful being married to a DIYer? Oh, it's fantabulous. And you don't even have to do it. I mean, seriously. How did you get so lucky? I'm waiting. How did you get so lucky? I must have hit the lottery. You must have hit the lottery. All right. <laughs> Sometimes, ladies, you gotta remind your man just what they have, right? <laughs> We're gonna go with a small brush. We're doing the small brush down here, guys, because, yeah, that wide brush was a little bit overkill for these types of areas. That is why, like I said, yes. Move quick. Oh, I started to say about, with, with it being um, a poly and a stain all in one, the nice thing is that it seals, right, while I'm doing this. But also make sure that you know that you, this is gonna set up really quick because it is a sealer as well into it. So you wanna move fast and get your paint, man, manipulate your stain where you want it to be because once it starts to set up, it gets a very sticky feel to it, okay? So move quickly. And try to line up your brush strokes as best as possible, right? And you don't want to put too much of this on. Remember, your door is laying vertical, right? And so gravity happens. You can see that drip right there. So make sure you grab it, you move it around, and you just go back over what you painted in case there's any little drips. So that way you can get them before it turns into a drip instead of your wood grain look, right? And so you can see me still kind of like touching up, um, going back over the areas and keeping an eye onto it. You know what I just realized? I guess we could turn on the light, Matt. Yeah, I guess we could. Right? Yeah. What do you guys think? Should we shed a little light on the subject? It's not too terribly bad, oh, but I will turn the light. It? Yeah. All right. I know it's getting dark. We're like right at the very end. Paint fast, Sonia. Paint fast. All right. We're getting yes. There. I will open the door in just a second, but I like to paint with the door closed because that way it doesn't try to fly away from me. What? <laughs> yes. If this door was open with the pressure of the brush on it, it would start to fling backwards. Oh, 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 okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. What were yes, you I understand that. I was like, what is she talking about? Oh, little one. Little grasshopper. What is it Yoda says? Uh, grasshopper is from Kung Fu. Really? What does Yoda say? What? How does he refer to his... Um, uh, pupils? His is Padawan what, learners? Is that what he... Young Padawan, yes. Yeah. That's what it is. That is exactly what it is. So guys, what do you think so far? All right, let's get all those little drips. Keep it going, keep it going. 
lighten it up. You could also do, I mean, you could do any color of the chalky style paint and then put this over it. Um, but if you wanna go with the wood look, definitely the brown. Even the black would be really stately. You know what I'm saying? Could you picture this? Yes. It would be beautiful. That said, let there be light, and we found light. I'm just that good. You are that good. I appreciate you doing that. Mm -hmm. Keep watching your drippy drips, okay? Gravity happens. Drippy drip. Yes. This stuff wants to run. So you have to run after it and keep your drippy drips at bay. All right, guys, we've got all the stain on. And now what I'm doing is just kind of doing some finishing touches by graining with my brush right now. All right, guys, I can sleep tonight because I've got this done. Now what's gonna happen overnight is everything is going to dry, which is nice because it's outside and with all this airflow, there's no rain tonight. Everything will be dry tomorrow. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog so you can see this in the daylight, but hopefully you can get a good idea. And actually, you know what? I'll put up the before right here. And now the after. Two steps, two easy steps. I can't wait to do this as well with the garage door. And, 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 I think it's gonna be gorgeous once this all tones down and dries. Can you guys picture? Don't you put that wreath on that door yet. I'm not going You to. don't put that wreath there on that door. Getting closer, getting closer. No, getting closer. no it, it, it. Isn't that gonna be cool? I was really thinking with the light pumpkins and the dark door that it would be absolutely beautiful. I, so tomorrow on the vlog, we will hang this wreath together because I even feel more strongly now that this should go on this door because it's so dark and beautiful, ooh, right? Yes. Yeah, what would you call it, like chestnut? Sort of yeah, thing. well, it's like walnutty. I love it. I yes. Love it, love it, love it. All, All right. right. So that means that we put that there. Then I'm really thinking. Tell me what you think. I might have to change. The thing. Oh yeah, that works. I'm, but I'm going to have to. That huh? works. What do you think? Do you feel like now I need something up here? No. No. My lonely pine cone that we have no idea. Where you just had to tie that off, and make it higher. That's all. Yeah, I think if I just move maybe my nail. Yep. up here and then this will be up a little bit higher like right there you think yep right there yep belt right there what yep. do you guys think tell me below if you think that i should put the wreath on the door and put this lovely little monogram cute don't thing kick that can i thought right you're gonna there. kick the can i've never kicked the can of paint before in my life yeah. that one's cool too actually what do you think of that one right there do you like that or do you like the big one better um i think i like the pumpkin better okay Done. We'll just move up the yes. hill tomorrow. Get the mile high am out of there. We're gonna need some hanging flowers. Anyway, on tomorrow's vlog, we will do a tour and we will see how it all looks and where I figure out to put this. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yes. All right. Super cute. So if you don't have a wreath, just hang something or another. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on another daily vlog, following along with my fun home projects. Stay tuned for tomorrow because who knows what we will get into. I know what I'm going to get into. A shower. A shower. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for subscribing. Give me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment below. I run off your love and keep these vlogs are coming. I see you tomorrow. Normal. I love you too. Oh no, it all just came out. Mwah.